Welcome to day four of Rocky Railway. Jesus Power pulls us through. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you love the train theme. What a, what a wonderful week it is to learn more about God's love for us and how Jesus love pulls us through. Today we're going to look, about, look at how Jesus' power lets us live forever. And you learn about Jesus' uh, death and resurrection. Uh, death wasn't the end of the story. Jesus still continues to live with us even today. So I hope you enjoy uh, today as you learn that Bible story, hear that Bible story again, meet a new Bible buddy, have a new gadget and imagination station, and all the fun and excitement that goes along with Bible school. Thanks again for being with us this week. Hope you're having a great week. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for all the ways that you bless us, all the ways that you watch over us, and we just pray that we would be a blessing to you and to one another. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Trust Jesus.
think about the end of life, it can make us feel sad. But Jesus' power is amazing. With Jesus' power, we can have a life in heaven that goes on and on and on. That's our Bible point today. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Our life on earth will end, but because of Jesus, we can have the power to live with him in heaven forever. To make that happen, Jesus had to give up his own life by dying on a cross. You'll hear more about that later today. Hmm, I wonder who will help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Ready to splash into another fantastic day at BBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatch is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat. And sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food, my eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow! Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. <laughs> wow! So, if you're feeling worried or sad, or things seem out of control, Remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything, and it's right there for you. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Finn is a fantastic and surprising reminder of Jesus' power and love. You are going to have a fantastic day. Hello everyone, here we are again at Bible Adventure. Today we're going to discover how <coughs> Jesus' power helps us live forever. Trust Jesus! Today's absolutely true Bible story is one that I love because it completely changed my life. I can't wait to share it with you. That's because you're my friends, but you're not just my friends. You're God's friends. God carefully and wonderfully created each one of you. The Bible says that God gave you bodies and bones and brains and blood. God made you in his very own image. Wow, let's celebrate you awesome creations. God made you with love to be with him forever. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants to be your friend. 
It was God's best, perfect plan, having a close friendship and being connected with his creations. Unfortunately, it didn't stay that way. Humans, just like you and me, believed a big lie. God's enemy, Satan, told people they didn't need God. Satan said, you can be like God. We still sometimes believe that lie today. We hear things like, you can be good enough. You can do enough good things. You're good enough on your own. Sometimes we believe that we can win and earn and achieve and do enough to make God love us. That lie separates us from God. Do you see this beautiful red heart? It symbolizes God's love for us. Do you hear that? Sin or wrong choices we make, tear us apart from God. It rips our friendship with him. It makes a mess. This isn't what God wants. So God gave up something precious to fix this big problem, Jesus. God sent his very own son, Jesus, to live on earth. Let me tell you a little about Jesus, because he's someone I love very much. Maybe you've heard about Jesus' love too. The Bible, God's Word, tells us that Jesus lived on earth a long time ago. If Jesus had a trophy, it would be for showing God's love to people, especially those who no one else seemed to notice. He'd get first place for healing people, and he'd get a ribbon for feeding thousands of people. Jesus did, only th did things only God could do, like walking on water, calming storms, and raising people from the dead. The Bible is filled with true stories of all the powerful things Jesus did. He could do those things because he's God's very own son with God's power. During our singing time, you learned a song about the best, most wonderful, and most powerful thing Jesus ever did. In fact, the most powerful thing in the history of the world. And Jesus did it. song tell us, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. You see, not everyone believed that Jesus was God's son. Some people thought he was a liar. They got so angry that they arrested Jesus. They hurt him and forced him to carry a rough wooden cross to a hill called Golgotha. There, they nailed his hands and feet to that cross and left him to die. In that time, only criminals were put to death on a cross. But, but Jesus had never sinned. He was God's pure and perfect son. The song tells us the cross is an emblem, a picture of suffering and shame. Jesus suffered for our shame. We may feel ashamed of the wrong things we do or the bad choices we sometimes make. Even though we do a lot of great things, we all have sins. The next part of the song tells us this, and I love that old cross where the dearest and the best for the world of lost sinners was slain. Slain means that someone was killed. Jesus was the dearest and best. He never sinned or never deceived anyone. When we do something wrong, there's usually a punishment or a consequence. When we sin, the ultimate consequence is separation from God forever. Imagine being separated from God's love and forgiveness. 
his goodness, power, and joy forever. That would make me feel very sad. Even though God, even though Jesus never sinned, he willingly died for you. He loves you so much that he took the punishment for your wrongs. It was the only way to heal our friendship with God. The next line of the songs go like this. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. Cherish means to value or treasure something. Sometimes we value our tre or treasure or cherish our accomplishments. You know, all, all those awards and things, it's okay to be proud of them, but a thousand ribbons or awards or good deeds can't wash away our wrongdoings. We can never do enough good things to earn heaven. The Bible says it this way, God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. We are powerless to save ourselves. Only Jesus can save us. Let's lay down these treasures and awards at the foot of the cross as a way to show that he is the most important. Finally, we sing these words in the song, and I will cling to the old rugged, rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Jesus' story didn't end at the cross. Remember, Jesus is God's son with God's power, and that power is stronger than death. Three days after Jesus died, something incredible happened. Again, let me read from the Bible. Listen to what the angel of the tomb said. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. Jesus' power beat death on that day, and it continues today for you and me. The Bible promises this, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believed in him will not perish but have eternal life. Because of Jesus, we can cling to the cross and promise, and the promise, the hope, the love, and the power it represents. The last line of the song says we'll exchange our trophies for a crown. The Bible describes heaven as having streets of gold and walls made of gems. This place Jesus is making for us is more beautiful than we can imagine. There are no more tears or sadness, and God's peace and glory are everywhere. Wow, that's something to cling to. Let's end our time together with a prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, you love us so much that you sent your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. Jesus died and took the punishment for all the wrong things we do, but Jesus is stronger than death, and he came back to life. Jesus wants to be our friend forever. When we ask him to, he will take away the wrong things we have done and fill our lives with his love. Jesus will always be with us and will help us make the right choices. When we believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive us, someday we will live with him forever in heaven. Amen. Ah, it's time to go. See you next time. Bye. All aboard. Next stop, Imagination Station. Welcome back, passengers. Did you bring your day four bag and your imagination? I know you did because you're all such good little passengers. Today we learned that Jesus' power lets us live forever. So, trust Jesus. Did you meet Finn, Rainbow Trapped? Did you know that Finn, as a Rainbow Trap, is actually a member of the Salmon family? Do you say salmon in your house or do you say salmon? We say salmon. And you know that salmon, when they grow up, they go back to the rivers where they were born. 
to have their babies born. And guess what? Rainbow trout do the same thing. Isn't that amazing? They also have teeth, which obviously is our challenge question for today. But do they have only upper teeth or only lower teeth? If you think upper teeth, wave them up high. There you go. If you think lower teeth, wave them down low. Guess what? Finn has teeth in the upper jaw, in the roof of his mouth. Only upper, so no lower. I don't know how he chews, but that's how it works. So today, we're learning that Jesus' power lets us live forever. And when it comes time for us to go and be with him, he has promised us things are going to be like the water in this bottle and this bowl. Sadness is going to end. Sickness is going to end. Bullying is going to end. And all the hard things that we've been through will end. And there's only going to be joy and love and light. And to help us remember these lessons that we learned this week about hope and power and trust and all these things. So in our day four bag, you'll find what looks like just a plain card. It's going to be called perpetual papers because you're going to be able to write notes and draw pictures about the things you've learned this week. And the first one is Ramsey. And you can write a note or draw a picture of a hard thing you had to do that you've learned to cope with this week. Open him up. And our next friend is Ava. Remember her, the red tail hawk? Do the same thing with Ava. Open Ava up, and guess who's there? Sierra, our friend, the mountain lion. And you can, again, draw pictures or notes about something that taught you to be bold or something bold that you did. And then, last but not least, here's Finn, our rainbow trout. So these are things you can do later on at the end of our session today with your perpetual papers. So when you're doing this later on today, maybe you want to talk to a friend or your parents or someone you really love, someone who loves you, about all the things you've learned this week, the things you might want to keep in these perpetual papers, as reminders of all the things you've learned this week. And just remember that Jesus gives you the power to do all these things. So trust Jesus. Come back tomorrow. It'll be our last day together. You've been great passengers. So, <coughs> leaving Imagination Station. Bye. Welcome back to the Rocky Wrap-Up. It's time for a Rockin' Railway Review. Today you discovered that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Our Bible memory buddy Finn is a fantastic, friendly fish who reminds us of Jesus' power and love. Let's sing Power in the Blood.
our trip for today. We'll be back on track for more adventures tomorrow. Oh,